Hello everyone. Hope you are doing well. Everyone in this country are facing the worst during this pandemic. We doctors are doing our part in saving the lives of people who are affected with COVID-19. Are you also doing your part? Your part is simple. Stay at home, wear a mask and sanitize and wash your hands whenever you touch anything. Don't take it for granted. Educate your parents and friends. Be aware and stay healthy. So this video is about the fresh beginners, the new doctors in the field. From being called as a student to being called as a doctor, they have come a long way through. Before any consultant or a postgraduate attends the case, it's the intern who reaches the patient first. So those are the primary doctors to take action. So they have many things to learn in this one year of internship as a house surgeon, which will really help him grow as the brightest doctor in the future. I will tell all those things but before that did you subscribe to my channel Dr JTM and also click bell icon so that you won't miss any video from me without any delay let's get into the video Hey guys this is Dr JT general medicine resident and a part time youtuber and I welcome you to my channel Dr JTM Being an intern is really challenging as a medical student It's a transition from knowing in the books to really experiencing it live. So there are a lot of things that you should learn as an intern. But in this video, I'll be telling you 10 things that you should learn as an intern. So don't miss it. Watch till the end and let's begin. Number 1. Strengthen your mind to face anything. Be it an RTA or gasping patient or poisoning or mass casualty, being ready for such things is the first and must thing. Because flight and fight reflex is not a cup of tea of everyone. It's not that every person should react the same way whenever they see a patient in blood. First, it will be tough to handle, but you should keep your mind ready for such things. Number 2. Learn from the mistakes but never stop at the same point. Be it a faulty technique of inserting a cannula or misjudging a diagnosis, you should never stop then and there. Your mistakes may lead to adverse situations, but still you have to learn from it. You don't need to think about the mistakes that you have done in the past or You don't need to think about how your co-interns or your friends will feel about your mistakes because the same amount of knowledge you have they to have you will always learn from the mistakes you will learn from the experiences and those will make you remember forever number 3 never hesitate to do things that are assigned to you be it lab samples blood banking injection duties or covid isolation never think that why am i doing this job or this should be done by nurses or ward boy but why am i doing this because everything you do should be meaningful and also a learning experience because whenever you take a lab sample you will learn a particular diagnosis for a particular disease and do you know whenever you collect the blood bag from the blood bank it should be transfused within 30 minutes and blood transfusion usually teaches the complications and injection duties will make you learn the perfect im or iv line you learn by doing number 4 never compromise on what you believe You will come across a variety of people who will think that they have better medical knowledge than you do or they think that they know better treatment than you do but there shouldn't be a scope to compromise in the values that you have learned deal with them smartly and sometimes the patients or attenders will quarrel with you or have abusive behavior never compromise be yourself avoid the negativity and move on with the treatment number 5 learning should be your first priority Whatever department you go through or whatever case you follow up the practical and theoretical knowledge should be in balance it's not that peer some posting is to chill and medicine posting is to learn every subject posting should have equal importance and you should give 100% of it because that's when you will know which branch is interesting and which branch is apt for you and which branch you need to op while you prepare for pg exam number 6 protecting your patients and protecting yourself Be it a pandemic or regular duties, it is always your job of protecting your patients from infections and diseases. But, but protecting yourself is also a main motto. Being enthusiastic is good, but being careful at the same time is really important because there are a lot of transmissible diseases which you will come across first before any consultant or postgraduate attend the case. So always have a protecting gear with you. like a mask or a glove and there is a new item that is introduced into this protecting gear a hockey stick or a baseball bat because the attenders or patients are getting violent and attacking on us why is this important because there is a family waiting at home thinking that you will reach home safely number 7 never bow to political pressures or to hospital management 
Sometimes there will be political pressures and also media which will make you feel down at times at least once in your internship questioning about the facilities or the equipment in the hospital which you are not responsible for. And sometimes your hospital management will ask you to give some special care and special treatment to special people which we call it as VIP management. Never fall for that. We doctors will never give any VIP treatment to anyone. Any patient and every patient is equal for us and we treat the same. Number 8. United we stay, united we be. Unity of interns can solve any problems in the college or hospital. Voice is united, heard louder to any extent and in any situation. Being the big guns of the college, you need to stay united if there exists any problem. If you fear the more, they divide and deviate you more. Number 9. Presence of mind, patience and punctuality. Sometimes you need to play the mastercard and monitor the highly severe cases. In such situation, you should have presence of mind and act according to the patient's condition, which is a primary quality. And you require patience in every aspect of your internship. Hundreds of questions from hundreds of patients should be answered patiently. You shouldn't express your irritation or your state of mind on the patients or attenders, which will make you fall in the trouble. I know being mentally stable in our profession is really hard. But when you stay with the patient, that's when you exile. If you have any problem or disturbance, talk with your friends and share things with each other. And another important thing is punctuality. Yes, the quality which saves lives. At any shift, be there at the right time. Because this will help getting out a patient from critical condition. As we know, every second counts. Number 10. Never ever give up. Be it 30 hour shift or ICU monitoring or continuous duties, you need to stay focused. You need to be alert because if you stay unfocused, there is a life of a person who is really in danger. Things are not always same for an intern because there are a lot of people who will shout at you, even your superiors. Only few people are there who will really support you and teach you. Hard times really come and pass by, but you should stay in there. Never ever give up. Give your 100% in treating a patient and also be confident that you are the savior of a person's life. So those are all the 10 things that you should learn in internship. Oh wait, there is a secret 11 thing that you should learn. Listen and do whatever work your PG says. You may face thousands of experiences and hundreds of memories. But cherishing every moment and living your life with colleagues is what that stays with us in time. As this is the only year that you will be spending time with your classmates. And that's it for today. Hope you all loved this video. If so, do like, share and subscribe to my channel Dr. JTM. And also all of you stay safe and wear a mask. I will be coming with another great video. Till then, bye. See you again.